So we have the basic web page with the YouTube video with the standard YouTube embed code. And we're going to check the website speed with this YouTube video. So we go right click, inspect, to open the dev tools up, click on network, make sure the cache is disabled, control R to reload the page. And we want to check for these figures here, the finish time, which is a massive four seconds here just for one video and the load time, which is 41 milliseconds. Okay. So now we're just going to add a small CSS file and JavaScript file. And this is going to act as a facade, only allowing YouTube video to load once it's been clicked. The CSS code and the JavaScript code is in the description, the links to them. Okay. So let's link the CSS file. Make sure your path is correct. Okay. Now the JavaScript file. Again, making sure your path is correct. Save it. Refresh the page. Okay, so we're going to use the light embed code now from the CSS file and the JavaScript file. Just comment out this iframe. We're not going to be using that. We're going to use a new tag as so. We're going to display the controls. Okay. So we need to copy that ID, the same YouTube ID and stick it here like that. Refresh the page. Now let's check the web speed. Now, right click inspect, go to network again. And you'll see now that the finish time has changed from four seconds to 317 milliseconds and the load time is almost the same. What I have noticed also using that code is that the thumbnail, the video thumbnail is somewhat blurry and we can correct that by going to the JavaScript file because basically it's loading the default thumbnail image, which is low resolution or standard resolution. And if we change this to max res default, save that refresh and we get the high resolution thumbnail image. Okay, that's it.